Hello and welcome to this second video on how Barracuda sets landmarks in the next generation firewalls era. My name is Kurt Martens and I am the pre-sales manager at Capadata. Capadata is a value-added distributor and we are present in Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg and recently started a cooperation with Contica Solutions in Poland. This is a second video of a series on the Barracuda's next-gen firewall F-series or using the previous naming convention, the Barracuda NG firewall. In our first video, we covered all security features of the next-gen F-series firewall, so if you want to learn more on that part, please go and watch that video. In this video, we will have a more in-depth view on the connectivity features of the product. Now, in the first place, the firewall needs to provide a decent security solution for the organization. But quite often, it are the add-on features and possibilities that give visual value to the customer. And the connectivity part is such a visible added value maker. In the past, the IT infrastructure was focused to have all servers and data on-premise with the customer's organization. But with the modern technologies and cloud offerings of today, we see a more hybrid approach. Customers are starting to use the cloud more often for software as a service offerings or as a place to host its computing power and servers. We can see this worldwide evolution based on the success of, for example, Office 365, Amazon Web Services, Azure, Salesforce and many, many more. That means that the internet connection of today is even more important than it was in the past. If the connection fails, companies can lose access to email, documents, databases, applications, systems, workstation environments or even remote desktop connections, as these all require the connectivity to the public cloud or to the internet. Now, connecting your business with at least two different ISP technologies such as cable, VDSL, fiber or satellite will give you more assurance that the business activity keeps running at all times. To make it affordable, the second internet connection can be less powerful than the main internet connection. In the past, we used the second internet connection only for failover purposes, but today we use both of these internet connections together at the same time. But that means that business critical applications primarily need to use the main internet connection for reliability and performance reasons, and that the second internet connection is used for regular web traffic or bandwidth consuming connections that have less priority needs. Hence, we introduce the application-based link selection and route specific applications to a dedicated internet connection. Still, if that particular connection fails, the second internet connection can be used for backup purposes and, if needed, you can enable a new set of quality of service rules to redistribute this new mixture of traffic. As more and more companies are starting to use multiple internet connections to balance applications, there still are some limitations with classic VPN setups. In this example, the branch office will initiate an IPsec VPN tunnel to the headquarter using the cable connections from both ends. All traffic traversing the tunnel will flow using the single combination of underlying internet connections. The flexibility we had with the application-based link selection is not available with the classic VPN tunnel setup and it makes it very hard to compete against MPLS networks. Now, with the Barracuda's next-gen F-series firewall implementation, you can create one single VPN tunnel between both sites and have simultaneous multiple underlying transport layers available to route traffic through. These four underlying transport layers from this example are limited as both sites only have two internet connections. In reality, you can have up to 24 of those transport layers within that VPN tunnel configuration. 
the Barracuda implementation is not using any kind of translation or any kind of advanced workaround and is a straightforward and easy to set up solution. This feature is unique to the Barracuda's next generation F-series of firewalls. These transport layers, also called virtual one links, can be used the same way as we use the application-based link selection. Based on applications and users, traffic can be sent onto multiple virtual one links. With this feature set, you can preserve high throughput and low latency for those applications that are needing this, or you can spread the bandwidth consuming applications on multiple links, thus balancing the load on your VPN tunnel. If the application is allowed to use multiple virtual one links, the firewall will balance them on a session or packet basis. All this together is called traffic intelligence and is one of the most important added value features you can find with the Barracuda's next generation F-series of firewalls. On top of these virtual one links, you can enable acceleration. The type of acceleration being used depends on the type of packet encapsulation, such as TCP or UDP. Barracuda's next generation F-series of firewalls will use local caching, deduplication and compression to speed up traffic. And not all traffic can benefit from acceleration, no. Voice over IP or remote desktop or even streaming media will not have any benefit from compression. Web, FTP, file sharing traffic like SIFS and SMB on the other hand will gain most out of the acceleration but the performance gain still depends on the compressibility of the raw data. The concept of virtual one links and traffic intelligence is not only an important feature for enterprise and branch VPN connections, it is also a very important feature to connect your business to the private or public cloud. Imagine the solution offerings you can make to your customers with this traffic intelligence feature when deploying it into your private data center, providing infrastructure, platform and software cloud solutions with a very high reliability and an always on concept that your competitors cannot even offer. All Barracuda's next gen F-series firewalls can also run in a high availability setup to offer you a non-disruptive and in-service upgrade capability. In a typical multi-site setup, you have multiple branch offices connecting to the headquarters firewall. Most communication is client-server based or the so-called north-south traffic. So the star VPN configuration is most likely the best fit for these environments. But sometimes it happens that occasionally branch offices need to communicate directly with each other. With a traditional setup, you can configure the so-called hub and spoke VPN. Traffic will pass through the central headquarter back to the other branch office. But with the Barracuda's dynamic meshed VPN setup, the central firewall or so-called hub will detect this traffic flow and automatically triggers a configuration update to the branch firewalls so that they can make a direct VPN tunnel connection instead. As soon as this temporary tunnel is active, traffic will be routed without passing headquarters firewall, so the internet bandwidth of headquarters location will be offloaded. For those people who are experienced in configuring VPN tunnels and do have the knowledge they will all agree that it is not that difficult to set up a VPN tunnel. Mainly, you have to decide which authentication and encryption algorithms you are going to use for both phase one and phase two negotiations. You set the, the identity of both VPN endpoints, specify the IP subnets that need to be able to traverse the tunnels and you're mostly done. One thing everybody agrees on is that it takes time and effort to configure and troubleshoot a VPN tunnel. 
as it occurs quite often that one of the many parameters was set different on one of the boxes. Thanks to the centralized management of the Barracuda's next generation F-series of firewall, it has not become more difficult than simply drag and drop a line from one firewall to another. The Barracuda Control Center will take full responsibility to auto-configure both ends with a working VPN setup. Also, configuring a full mesh VPN between all sites only takes less than one minute, as you can see in this live example behind me. You simply create a VPN group, you set the uh, preferred security parameters, the ones you need, and finally you add the firewalls to the group and you are done. Now, in our next video, we will go through the management, reporting, monitoring and troubleshooting stuff. We will also take a quick tour on the next-gen GUI interface. We will also talk about the different deployment options and models of the next-gen F-Series firewalls. Now, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us or visit our website at www.capadata.eu. Thank you and I see you next time.